It was a race against the clock to save the injured at this market in southern Tigray after it was hit by a military airstrike last Thursday. For many, it was too late. Dozens were killed here. It's another attack to add to a string of atrocities that has marked the brutal war in Ethiopia. But Monday signaled a new turning point in the conflict when rebel Tigrayan forces who have been fighting central government troops announced they were withdrawing from the regions of Amhara and Afa, both located in northern Ethiopia. The TPLF spokesman tweeted that the pullouts would take away whatever excuse the international community has to explain dragging its feet when it comes to putting pressure on Abiy Ahmed and his regional partners. The rebels claimed the withdrawal should push the international community to ensure that food aid can enter Tigray. The UN has accused the Ethiopian government of placing a blockade on the region, allegations that it denies. 400,000 people are on the brink of famine there. Our concerns continue to deepen, particularly in regard to the ongoing conflict, its increasingly severe impact on humanitarian needs and the state of emergency that was adopted last month. The conflict in the Tigray region has, in recent months, extended to other areas of the country. It now involves an even wider range of actors with serious impact on civilians. For Abiy Ahmed, the announcement of the pullout is a cover-up for military setbacks. Since the Ethiopian prime minister went to the front lines to lead the fight against the TPLF, state media says the government has retaken a string of key towns. But with independent journalists unable to access conflict zones, it's hard to verify the government's claims.